Hey guys, so I'm back with another tutorial and this time I chose to bring my friend. Hi, I'm Monica. Um, yeah, so I wanted to bring her on because I wanted to show you guys me doing makeup on somebody else. And I chose to do this glam red carpet special event type of look. Um, and yeah, before anybody freaks out, <laughs> I want you guys to know that yes, it is a lot of makeup, but like I said, is um, for like a special special event. And so, you know, you need to be a little bit more glam. This isn't to go to the store. This You're not necessarily picking avocados at Trader Joe's with this makeup. No. <laughs> but if you want to do that, it's up to you. And we're not judging. I mean, Absolutely. I do it all the time. It's fine. Feel free. If you guys want to learn how to get this look, uh, just keep on watching. Bye. Bye. I'm going to get started with her um, moisturizer applying moisturizer and I'm going to be using uh, this flat foundation brush with uh, this um, face cream. It's called Embryoless. And then with your beauty blender you can just go in and blend it in further. Okay, I'm gonna start with her eyes, and I don't like to use um, eyeshadow primer. I typically use uh, concealer, and I'm gonna be using the NARS uh, Creamy Concealer in Ginger. And to blend it out, I'm gonna be using the, the Morphe E30 brush. And I'm going to set with a Laura Mercier translucent powder. And the reason why I'm setting it is just because it's gonna help um, the eyeshadows blend in better and just go on smoother. And I'm gonna go in with um, her crease color, and it's gonna be Frappe by Makeup Geek, and it, with the Morphe M511. And you just go in and blend in and windshield wiper motions and you also move your round and um, move your brush in, in circular motions. To further intensify the crease, I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear and Morphe M441 brush. Just just like a little smaller brush than the one we just used. And I'm doing the same thing, just blending in all the colors together. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in back again with my Morphe M511 and then just blend in everything together just so there's no harsh lines. Hmm. Fun fact I didn't know. <laughs> now for a color lid, I'm going to go in with Marc Jacobs. Is P shakes? I don't know what that says. Let's see. Doesn't it say like it says P shakes? Yeah, I would imagine it says P shakes. <laughs> Twinkle pop. It's, it's a twinkle. Yeah, it's just this color. 
It's a twinkle pop. Uh, and I'm gonna apply it on her lid, all over the lid. And you don't have to make it perfect because we're gonna blend it out as soon as I'm done applying it. And back with the brush um, N4411, I'm gonna blend it all out. And I did not add any more product, just with whatever's left over. Mm. And now with this Charlotte Tilbury palette, it's called Dolce Vita, with this shade, I'm gonna go in and apply it all over her lid. And I'm gonna use my finger because this is the best way to use the shadow. And you just go back in with your brush with the same one that I used before, the Morphe N441, and just blend in everything. All right, I'm going to apply um, lighter shade, a more, more sparkly shade um, on, her, on the center of her lid. And this is gonna be the shade that I'm applying. This is a highlighter, it's by Bobbi Brown. It's called Bronze Glow. And this is just gonna go in the center of her lid. And what this will do is that this will make it like a little highlight in the center of her eyelid. And then just make the eyeshadow pop a lot more. back again with my brush I'm just blending in and using a clean N441 by Morphe I'm gonna go back in with this color with this reddish shade and put it on the crease just to deepen it a little bit And to line, I'm gonna use this Namie's number four brush. It's an angled brush. And just very, very close to her lash line. And this is just basically so we can um, hide the lash band. I'm not gonna wing it out or anything. Okay, and for the lashes, I'm gonna be using these Flutter Lashes and Judy. As foundation, I'm gonna be using NARS True Glow in Syracuse. And I'm gonna use this Cover FX um, foundation brush. And for this brush, you don't really need to use that much product because this brush like does not eat your product. Pretty much everything you use on the brush, it just gets placed on the face and it applies a super thin layer, but it applies it super evenly. It's so good to know. Yeah. I love this brush. Because I always feel like brushes do eat it. Yeah. And I'm like, God, this is such a waste of makeup. And as much as I love the Beauty Blender, which I do, you do use it, it mm. eats it up so much. Mm -hmm. Which is fine if you have like a heavy hand. Yeah. Like it'll. And now to blend in the foundation more, I'm just gonna use a Beauty Blender, and my Beauty Blender is damp. It doesn't have makeup on it. No. Hmm. There's nothing on it, other than water. And this is just gonna push the foundation in. This is gonna make it last longer. And it's also going to get rid of any brush strokes. Raise me a little bit. Okay, as concealer, the first concealer that I'm gonna use is going to be a Krylon concealer. 
so it's a thicker concealer. And I'm using like a small synthetic brush, like a shader brush. Pick up. And I'm using the little Baby Beauty Blender to blend this in. So I'm not really doing any highlighting yet. This is just to conceal. And make sure you just dab in the product. You don't just like spread it or push it like around. Don't forget the inner corner of her eye. To blend that in, I like to use the Morphe E30, the same one we use to apply uh, the concealer on her eyelids. And there's no additional product. This is just to blend it in. Okay, now to highlight, I'm gonna be using NARS um, Creamy Concealer and I'm gonna be using Ginger and Custard. And the way I apply it is I just go against the skin, I don't rub, because you don't wanna move what you just did. And the reason why I use these two shades is because I don't want it to be like completely bright under there, like super white. Ginger is darker than custard. So what I'm doing now is I'm highlighting. This is not really for concealing anymore. Okay, and now with whatever's left over on this beauty blender, I'm just going to apply it in the center of her forehead. on her nose and on the chin. Okay, to set her under eye, I like to mix these two um, powders. This is again the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and this is the Benef Benefit the Professional. So I mix both. And I only like to do this on darker skin tones, just because um, when you're too light, the, um, um, the Benefit powder is going to look too orange on you. So I just put on my hand, mix both, and I'm using the e.l.f. blush brush. Look up. And I'm going to make sure that um, there is no creasing. So I'm just going back in with my Beauty Blender to blend out any creasing. Looking up. To set her face, I'm going to be using this Cogendo powder in natural lighting powder. And I also like to use this uh, powder on darker skin tones because it has a slight tint to it. If they're lighter, I will use the Laura Mercier powder. <laughs> so to brighten up her under eye, I'm gonna be using MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC25. This is just going to add a little bit of brightness and a slightly bit of coverage. And you can put it on the forehead. And I will bake just her nose because it helps me when I contour. So this is kind of like just highlighting the nose. What, what did you use on my nose to bake? I used the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Gotcha. Okay, and to contour, I'm gonna be using this Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Powder and this Japanese um, contour uh, brush. 
and I shake it off really good. And I just like to grab it from the tip or from the end. And I use like circular motions. And to bronze up her, um, her forehead, I'm going to be using Max Give Me Sun and using the same brush. Doing the sides. And slightly above where I contoured. This is just bronzing up her skin. To contour her nose, I'm going to be using the Hulu Bronzer by Benefit. And this flat brush, I don't know where it's from, but it's just like, it has like longer hairs, but it's just kind of dense. And then I shake off the product. I'm just going on the sides of our nose and I don't really have that much product on the brush because you don't want it to be like really like two harsh lines. Hmm. As blush, I'm going to be using this uh, NARS uh, pink blush and this Delium Tools 964 brush. Smile. And I'm just applying it on the apples of her cheeks and just kind of bringing it back slightly. What I do like to bake is um, under her contour, on her cheekbones, just to give it a little bit more definition. And I'm going to be using the Kojendo powder again. And using my Beauty Blender, I'm just going on, under her contour and just kind of like cupping her cheekbones. So highlight, I'm going to use the Becca Champagne Pop and this Morphe N509 brush. I'm going to highlight her nose and I'm going to be using this MAC 219 brush. <laughs> and then just do the tip of her nose. And slightly above the bridge because she has a little bump right there. You don't want to enhance that. Okay, and to do her eyebrows, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. And I'm going to brush her brows. And I'm going to start in the middle of her brow, just because this is the part that she's needs, like she has a little bit of patchiness and she needs more like blending in. to be filled in. And 
remember, like, you don't have to do your eyebrows exactly the same because they're not twins. They're cousins or something. Is that what they say? Right. <clears throat> they're not identical twins. They're, they're cousins, right? They're related. Yeah. There's a relationship in there. Maybe There's, even... It's always a bitch you're... <laughs> maybe even siblings. <laughs> One of them's probably PMSing. <laughs> For her eyebrows to continue like setting them, we're gonna use this Anastasia Brow Pro Palette in medium brown. To clean up under her brows, I'm gonna use that Krylon concealer that I used and the same brush that I use um, to conceal under her eyes. And this is just gonna brighten up her bra bone and also make her eyebrows sharper. And to blend that out, I'm gonna use the four, uh, Morphe M411. No, Morphe M421. Was my hand in there? Mm -hmm. Not too bad. I'm gonna remove that. Mm -hmm. Now for her waterline, I'm going to use this uh, Sephora waterproof pencil and it's just like a gold pencil <laughs> look up and to smoke out her um, under eye I'm gonna use this uh, MAC 417 and texture by MAC To continue blending, I'm going to go in with this Morphe N1, N, M514 with no additional product. This is just going to be to blend in the edges. And for her lower lash line, again, I'm going to go in closer with the M Morphe M508 and Amber Lights by me. And as mascara, I'm gonna use the gray, the Maybelline Gray Lash. The reason why I like it is because, like, see how like small it is. So you can really get under the look up and the lower lash line. So something that I do in order to make your lashes uh, seem thicker is I apply a little bit of mascara, like at the beginning of your lash, like on your skin, slightly, just so they seem a little thicker. You don't want it to do you don't want to do a lot though cuz then it's just going to look like it's just a mess. Clump. Yeah, yeah, just a clumpy mess. And that's why I like using this mascara cuz you can really be careful and get in that area. And then just do mascara so you can bind the lashes with Try not to go all the way up because you don't really want to get any mascara at the end of the lashes. Because you don't want them to get like clumpy. You still want them to be fluffy and nice and pretty. Okay, to line her lips, I'm going to be using MAC Strip Down. Now I'm going to be using different shades for her lips. The first shade that I'm going to use is going to be Taupe by MAC. And then I'm going to use Myth 
by Mac as well. And the brush that I'm using is Delium Tool 711. And I'm going to go in first with uh, mint, sorry, with taupe. And I'm going to apply that on the outer corners of the lips. What this is going to do is this, this is going to make it a little bit more pouty and make her lips look a little bit, um, like a tiny bit bigger. I mean, she doesn't really need them, but. And then myth is going to go right in the center of her lips. I know this looks a little crazy, but we're going to blend it out. <laughs> Imagine if like people did this in real life. Just brushed it like this. They should. I'm sure there's someone out there who does. Hmm. And I'm going to do lip gloss now. And this is Chelsea Girls by NARS. And this one is Explosion by MAC. So pretty. Yeah. And see these shades kind of match the same shades as the lipsticks that we used. So this, the darker shade of the lip gloss, I'm going to use it again on the outer corner of her, of her mouth. And then the light one is going to go in the center of her lips. And we are all done. So this is the whole look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I will walk 500 miles and I will end. <laughs>